And when we saw Marcus Williams dancing around and gyrating with the cranberry sauce, I was like, okay, I guess he's on the way back. But team, keep it clean. I love getting great news. I love it. I know you love it, too. And I love sharing the good news, too, and the great news. Really, shout out to JWs. But I, I, I love getting great news. And today, we got a lot of significant great news from these Baltimore Ravens. Marcus Williams who has been on injury reserve for a while now. I think he went out in the Bengals game on Sunday Night Football with a wrist injury. Um, and I remember, I remember hearing the presser and Harbaugh said it's not looking good and said that he was going to be out for a while. And, and that just scared me because I remember like with Harbaugh, Harbaugh speaks very vaguely about injuries, very vaguely. Um, and even sometimes when he can put sort of a positive spin on something, uh, it could still end up being bad news. So for him, I was even more scared because I'm like, man, he made it sound really, really bad. Like really, really bad. So I was expecting Marcus Williams to be out for the rest of the season. I know a lot of y'all probably were too when Harbaugh said that. But they said that he could return later on in the season. I was like, okay, so that ain't so bad. But one thing that I was concerned about, I'm like, man, they spent $70 million on Marcus Williams. And again, he had been playing great. Great. And the thing about that is the defense, they hadn't even been clicking like that yet. He, so he was playing great and the defense wasn't even all there yet. And now they seem to be hitting that stride and he's on the way back. Ooh, ooh that could be nasty. But anyway, with Marcus Williams, um, I was concerned that with him going out, it's like, all right, we got Kyle Hamilton. He doesn't really seem like he's all the way ready yet. We got Geno Stone, and I expected Geno Stone to play well in Marcus Williams' absence. I didn't, I, I didn't expect him to be uh, Marcus Williams, but I still did expect him to play well, and he has been. And I think he is like one of the – and I, I know PFF. PFF is sometime you man, because sometimes they make sense with stuff. Sometimes they don't. So with PFF, who knows? But according to PFF, he is – one of the NFL's highest rated safeties, highest rated safeties. And Kyle Hamilton is the highest rated safety. Now with Kyle Hamilton, I, I know the rating is cool, is great, but at the same time, he's not out there full time. But it does show, like, I guess, well, according to PFF, when he is out there, he is making a very positive impact. So we'll take it. But anyway, Marcus Williams um, is, he's designated to return from injured reserve and that is such a beautiful thing man uh ravens man i i, I want to say they've missed him i mean obviously they've missed him because it's marcus williams man it's, it's it's a big free agent acquisition and he made his mark on his team but they've been playing so well in his absence but now with him coming back it can make the rich on defense get even richer Ravens are getting a lot of guys back, um, especially on defense. Of course, Bowser came back a couple games ago, and so he'll continue to get ramped up. We're still waiting on David Ajabo on his, uh, his premiere. Maybe it'll happen uh, this week in, in, in Florida, in Jacksonville, in Duval. We'll see what happens with that, but we're still waiting on him. But the Ravens, they're getting healthier, and that's a beautiful thing. That's a, a very beautiful thing. But Marcus Williams being back is nice, man. It's nice because he obviously is the Ravens starter. And when you have Ravens have a lot of depth at safety, like <laughs> a lot of depth at safety. And the more depth you have, um, the more things that you can do, the more variety that you have, the more um, diverse uh, your defense is, especially at safety. So uh, Marcus Williams, again, uh, with being designated to return from injury reserve, there's a three week window that he has to where he can get activated. So he has 21 days from today to get placed back on the active roster. 21 days from today. Um, so if, you, if you're if you not placed back on the active roster after those 21 days, then you go back to injury reserve and your season is over. But obviously, we don't expect that to happen. It's not going to happen. Uh, Harbaugh already told us a while back that Marcus Williams was expected uh, to return in December. So this would line up like right with what Harbaugh said. So good stuff. Good call there, buddy. Appreciate it. Um, now, that wasn't the only great news that the Baltimore Ravens got today. It was see, like, keep it coming. Keep it coming because we with it all day. Gus Edwards, he is back at practice. Um, he practiced after uh, missing Sunday's game. Because we know it with Gus Edwards, um, he was kind of up and down. He, he was practicing before 
But then they said he had got like this new injury in practice, this new knee injury. I was like, okay, okay, okay. But now he's back, and then he obviously ended up missing the Panthers game, and Gus Edwards was surely missed. Like, anything we can get on offense, <laughs> anybody that he was going to get on offense, ooh, they are definitely missed because everything makes such a big difference. Because, you know, with, de- with defense, like, it's like, whoa, they go crazy over there. But offense is like, ooh. But anyway, another conversation for another day. Um, they also got somebody else back. <laughs> Ooh, you can't miss what you never had, right? Well, I mean, we had him for a couple of plays, and he did make a couple of plays, but um, and it was almost part of a really big play in that Saints game. But anyway, Deshaun Jackson, um, who made his Baltimore Ravens debut uh, a couple of weeks ago against the New Orleans Saints on Monday Night Football. Dun, 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 dun. That's what his hamstring, they, they were singing that Monday Night Football song too, but they stopped singing because he couldn't even finish the game. Uh, he he ran them routes and and that was it, man. His hamstring said, "Hey, you ain't been playing in a little while. You're a little older. Yeah, let's go take a little rest on the sideline." And he hadn't played since. But the Ravens did say that Deshaun Jackson he was also back on the practice field. So that's a beautiful thing, man. That's a beautiful thing to to see. That's a beautiful thing to hear about that they're getting guys back because again, if you were here last year. You remember, like, (laughs) we we didn't get many guys back. And it was literally every single week, every single game, somebody was hurt, somebody was leaving, somebody was injured, somebody was going on. I every It was without fail, without fail. Like, I know my guy, uh, Kevin, he did a comparison. I think it was last week. He did a comparison to the injury report from last year in week 11 versus the injury report for this year in week 11. And last year it was like, I know everybody compares it to receipts, like a receipt at like Costco or CVS or something like that, or Walmart. It, it was, that's what exactly what it looked like. Cause there's so many different things listed and names listed and injuries listed. But this year it's like, Oh wow. Like when you see five people on there, it's like, Oh, oh, oh. compared to last year, it's nothing. It's nothing. Um, now with all that great news that we got, we also did get, a little bit of bad news. Well, anyway, we'll just... Yeah, let's read it. There were nine Ravens absent during the media viewing of Wednesday's practice. Those nine Ravens were Lamar Jackson. So Lamar Jackson was not at the media's portion of practice. It's possible that for each of these guys, they may have came out a little bit later on when the media wasn't there. I'm sure we'll, we will hear about it when Harbaugh has his presser later today. Maybe you're watching the presser right now because by the time this video uploads, because I'm sure it's going to take a little while. Um, by the time this video uploads, the presser may be going on at that time. We'll see. Um, but there were nine Ravens absent during the media viewing of Wednesday's practice. Lamar Jackson, Mark Andrews, Ronnie Stanley, who was injured the other day, but Harbaugh should give us an update on that today. Um, Kyle Hamilton, who was injured in the other, the other day in the Panthers game, but Harbaugh should give us a more definitive update on that today. And something that I talked about with those two, um, with the injuries, I know Harbaugh did say, um, Kyle Hamilton, his knee was stable. And when he said the word stable, that doesn't really sound good to me. Um, that doesn't sound really promising. That sounds like he'll miss some time. Ronnie Stanley, he has his ankle. They said he had to get an MRI. I think he'll miss a couple of games, but that's just me. I'm not a doctor, but I I still think they'll both miss a couple of games. Uh, but my thing was less, whatever Harbaugh says, regardless of what he says, let's see if they're practicing on Wednesday. They're not practicing on Wednesday. So we'll see. We just got to wait for that more definitive update. So we'll get that soon. Um, but also included on that list of absent Ravens were Kevin Zeitler, Marcus Peters, Justin Houston, Calais Campbell, and Jalen Armour Davis. So um, eight of these guys are starters for the Ravens, and they were not practicing um, for the Ravens. So that's not good, but it's early in the week. Like, I, I, I can't trip out about a Wednesday practice report. Um, if it's Thursday, then that's where it really gets more concerning. And then Friday, of course, that's where it's very concerning because Friday is the day where a lot of decisions are made. Like if you don't practice Friday, especially if you didn't practice all week, you usually, typically, normally don't play. Um, but anyway, I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all team. Keep it clean. Y'all keep your heads up. Keep doing y'all thing. Keep being special people that y'all are. We out.